Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk about Hightail. It's it's uh well I didn't I didn't want to talk about it actually. Um uh, but I think it's time. I think it's time that maybe a few other YouTubers try to hype in this game up. I'm pretty excited. I've already signed up for the beta. Uh but I doubt I'll, I'll probably get access to it. But Hytale. What is Hytale? Well, think of it as what Minecraft could have been if it had a second game. <laughs> think about it as Minecraft 2.0. And it's, it's easy to say that. It really is. It's, it's very much easy or, yeah, it, it's, it's, I don't want to seem like I'm ranting. Hightail See, it, it's hard to explain. So, let's, let's go through it. Let's, let's go through what the hell Hytale is. First of all, if you've never seen the trailer, I would highly recommend you do. Um, it, it's 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 a it's pretty good. It's really cool. It's something that is getting me really hyped, and it's something that I've been looking forward for. Something that I've been. It, it feels like that there was something missing in Minecraft. Now, in Minecraft, you can pretty much do and build anything you want to do, as long as it's not Pokemon, and then Nintendo will most likely just sue you until you delete your project. But, um, Minecraft has been open for business since day one. I don't know what the first thoughts about mods were, I really don't. But modding has just been the way to go for Minecraft. I literally can't play Minecraft without at least a few mods. And these are just, you know, very, very simple mods like Optifine or Nine of Items or a minimap mob or mod like Journey. You know, little little mods like that. And I am a proud member of a, a community on Minecraft called MCME, which stands for Minecraft Middle Earth. I love that community. I love it with all of my heart. Hytale gives a brand new meaning to survival genres. And Minecraft is very much part of the survival genre. You might not think about it, or you might not think it is, but it really is. Minecraft not only is a sandbox survival, but it's so much more than that. It, there's so much more to Minecraft that I don't think the developers really knew what Minecraft could have been. But Minecraft is just about survival. Survival of the fittest. Seeing how long you could survive. Seeing what you can build. Minecraft was very, very special for its time. And it still is. It's still one of my all-time favorite games to go to. Whenever I'm bored. It's always, always, always right there. It's always right there. Because it's a game that I'm always going to play. No matter what other game comes out. 
And I just want to say that even with Hightail coming out, even with the announcement of Hightail, which is being produced by the people who run the Hypixel servers on Minecraft. These are the same people who ran mini, a, a minigame server. That's how much care that they're putting in to, to this game. And I, I want to stress that this might seem like a Minecraft clone, but it certainly is not Minecraft. Hell, people were saying that Minecraft was going to be the Roblox killer. But guess what? I could still load Roblox. Roblox is still a website that I can access. So, what's next? I really don't know. I don't know what's next. <sighs> I'm more or less waiting for the beta. And I will definitely keep an eye out. Because what you're seeing right here is gameplay. This is something I've always, always preached about was gameplay and filters. Specifically green screen filters. This is something I've always preached about. That enable to really show what's going on. Just sh show the product. This might be a test build because I don't I don't really know if it if it really says. But look at that game. Look at that. That's gameplay. That is all gameplay. Just think about all the work that has gone to this. Look at this. It, there looks like that there are so many freaking bosses in this freaking game. Community servers too, and the Yogs. It's freaking crazy. Many games. And again, I doubt this is very much the final product. And this is really one of the, one of the reasons why. I doubt you could do that. Watch videos like that. Because if you could do that, hell yeah. Yo, if, if, if you can do that, then that is pretty fucking awesome. What I would love for this game to do is make it VR. Compatible. I would love to play this game in VR. And the only reason why I say VR compatible is because this looks like there's so much you can do with this game. And VR, virtual reality, is the future. It's the, it, 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 it's the future. It's the future of gaming. In fact, it's here. It's here right now. And being able to play a game like this in virtual reality, that will be an, an ultimate dream. 
that will just be amazing. Even if you have to create some kind of mod for it, like Vivecraft from Minecraft gives you the opportunity or gives you the ability to play Minecraft in virtual reality. Be it on the Vive or the Oculus Rift. So, that's make movies. That's crazy. But being able to create a world or create a project or like paint paint it without even having to go go into the world use world edit and copy paste shit for example one of my stadiums just as an example i could definitely make a stadium a huge stadium in this game given the opportunity and that's probably going to be one of my first projects to see how well the game runs first of all but how game how good the game runs but more importantly how I can use the tools to make creations. And, you know, the ability... Live scripting, that's pretty fucking cool. The ability to just do that is incredible. It's amazing. It's really cool to see something like th like being able to do this. And then having to edit or edit using all the green screen and stuff to, you know, make it really, really cool. This is what I like. And then, of course, the PVE aspect of the game. I love it. I love it. It's 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 a game that everybody wants or it's a game that everybody can play, can create. And it talks about a quest for the ages, which means that there's some kind of story within the game. But what I want to know if it's a forced story or if it's going to be a little bit like Minecraft. But you can choose, like it says here, choose your path, choose to go on this quest or just choose to survive and be yourself. This is also something that I've always wanted to do for Minecraft. Even though that there is a skin creator in Minecraft, this is something that really should have been implemented within the game. The ability to create your own custom character. Or I hope that you're uh, that you'll be able to create your own clothes within the game. Just like in Minecraft, just creating your own skin, clothing and hair and whatnot. Because that, that would be really, really worth buying. Made for creators. Cinematic tools. And edit pretty much everything.
So I'm going to give you guys the link to this website so you guys can join the beta. And I want to know. I want to know if you guys are going to participate in the beta. I want to know if you guys are going to end up buying this game. But I want to stress this enough. I doubt this is going to be the game that kills Minecraft. Because it was said that Minecraft was going to kill Roblox. You want to know what was said that was also said to kill Minecraft? Terraria. Terraria was going to was the game to kill Minecraft. Many other block survival games, blocky survival games, were said to be the mine, the ultimate Minecraft killer. So I very much doubt that Hypixel will be the game to kill Minecraft. Because I know there's a lot of people that still enjoy Minecraft. And I'm still going to be one of those people that will, go, uh, that will continue to go back to Minecraft. Mostly because you gotta remember where you start. Plus, the survival aspect of Minecraft can be very, very relaxing to some other people. Just thought I'd point that out. So, I do enjoy a good, a good first night in Minecraft. I enjoy just going out, creating a new world, build a freaking house, and then see how long I can survive. See what I can do. In fact, I ought to make a series about it. I ought to make a series on, on, um, Minecraft first night challenges. And then eventually hightail it to Hypixel. Get it? <laughs> hightail. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm sorry. But I I don't think I'm the correct person to really hype up Hightail. So I'm going to link you guys to a video of Ant Venoms. I do I do enjoy Ant Venom video uh, Ant, Ant Venom's videos, and uh, he's very very excited for this game. He knows he knows the people behind Hytale. He he knows the guys that are behind Hypixel and all that good stuff. So. Go watch his video. Link will be in the description below. And again, tell me what you guys think about the game. Watch the trailer. And tell me that you're not hyped about this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys at Hightail. Hopefully the beta. Bye-bye.